Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, Geography Games. Hi, my name is Guy Training, and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from Tech Edge. and today I'm talking about geography games and there's lots of them around. The thing about geography is we all want kids to know where things are on the world map or on a local map and we want them to know it for a long time but we really don't always have lots of time to spend on a class in the classroom about this. It's all about practice, it's all about interacting with maps and putting meaning there and so today I want to talk about some games that you can give to your kids if if they've got a few minutes or if you want to send them home and do some practice or if they've got a free period something like that where you want them to practice so the first one that I want to think about to to talk about is comes from rethinking schools and this is a country match on a map and this is the Middle East and Northern Africa um, one as an example so what you do is you locate the countries on the bottom and then you drag them to point to them on the map so you take for example and you recognize that this is Egypt and um, you go to the Persian Gulf and you recognize Turkey right up here and um, Cyprus and you can see that if you don't put it in the right place it'll give you an X and say no it's not here and I'm just using a large screen so you can see it. And here's Algeria and what happens if you do it wrong, it gives you that X. So that's a quick and easy practice to see where you're at. Lots of other opportunities to do that in the same website. So rethinkingschools.org, which has a lot of components, has a number of these maps just straight practice great. You can throw them. Kids don't need to log in and they can do it get to know the geography of that area better and move forward. The next one I want to talk about is Lizard Point and Lizard Point has different uh, pieces you can see up on top but really I'm interested right now in the geography and you can see you can look at world, Africa, the Americas uh, and going down from there and what you get is a series of questions so let's go into the one that I've just started in the Americas and you get points so right now we've got a score of 0 out of 93 because we're starting a new one where is Colombia and so you say you point to something and you say here no that's not it you can see how this works and then you can skip or you can go uh, forward for example where is the Dominican Republic and you get feedback yes it is and you get the next question so you can see that there's quick exploration and as I said you can have different things so you can do all the countries of Africa or uh, capitals of Africa so you can get more and less detail as you go around and uh, that's a real challenge because uh, here you're for example separating the fact that Africa is actually a continent it's got 55 countries in it and then locating those countries within that map is a complicated task and so you can have different level of complexity and um, the last one I want to show you is about the world continents and oceans which is a place where we often want to start so the questions are where is Australia and you point to that Antarctica and so you get that kind of a thing. You do have to recognize that there are ads on this website, so you do want to consider whether uh, and how you introduce the idea of ads, but the ads do not go over, they're just in a banner on top, so it's very easy to work with. Um, the next one I want to talk about, again on the computer, but there is an iPad version as well, is GeoGuessr. In GeoGuessr, um, the app throws you somewhere in the world, and um, it looks very much like Google Earth you can go up and down and the idea is to try and locate yourself on the world map and the closer you are the better your points are so you can see I've got a score here because I started and now I'm in a new place I don't know where it is and usually the ways to do this is to rely on topography but more than that really relying on signs and different ways to kind of judge where you're at and the minute you're ready you go to the world map and try to locate yourself in this case I have no idea where I'm at so I'm traveling down the road until I see something a little bit more uh, more accurate that can tell me what's going on and so 
and you can look around so you can see you can look all the way around and try and locate where you are this doesn't give me much there's a road there are clouds there's some trees and it's definitely not a desert that much I can tell but not much more than that so you travel along the road until you can locate yourself and once you do you say I think I'm uh, somewhere let's say here and say okay make a guess and I'm probably going to be way off in this case yes I am this is somewhere in Brazil this is very far away so you don't get a lot of points and you can see my points on the side and then you play the next round so this really develops the skills it makes kids familiar with different zones with starting to making educated guesses based on the environment whether it's built environment signs or uh, the topography and, and weather patterns that you can see in this work. So it's really interesting, it's really challenging for kids and it's interactive in the way that it teaches about the world uh, and you can create competition if you want to do a competition and there's actually a challenge mode where you're challenged against others so it's more of a direct competition for that. So this is called GeoGuessr and as I said the iPads have something very similar. And now I want to switch to the iPad and show you a few things that are specific to the iPad. And the first uh, app that I want to talk about is just to show you GeoGuessr is very much the same. On uh, the iPad you get single player or pass and play so two players can play together and um, they can select a map. So for example, um, I like the idea of uh, the world, but you can see that there's major cities, famous places and all of that if you're willing to pay for um, extra. And you can see immediately this, this map has some features, some building features which help locate around the world. And you can see that there are uh, palm trees, so that helps as well. And you can work around and you can move around in a way that helps you. This is actually easier than the computer in some ways because you just press and you see where it's going. And so you can run around and make your guess just like GeoGuessr on the computer. The next one that I wanted to talk about is called GeoTest. Very similar idea to GeoGuessr, but here you don't necessarily move around. So if you're playing, it'll show you a scene. You can move around, but this is, you can see that this is a road and now I can see that there's writing and I know that it's Cyrillic letters so I know it's somewhere uh, where the Eastern Bloc used to be and I will make a guess now so again you go to the map and you make a guess that this is I don't know Smolensk I don't know if that's true it's probably not this was Moscow so uh, you get some points, but not necessarily that points, and you can see that uh, it's judged by the distance. You can see that on top. It's judged by the distance to the real uh, location. So this is another version of the same thing, uh, allowing you to judge as a teacher what are the right features that you want to include. The last one that I want to talk about is an app called Atlas. So in Atlas, what you've got is an illustrated Atlas. I love this, especially if you're working with the younger kids, but even um, beyond that, it's got lovely animations. It's got a way to look at the world so you can look at the globe from far away and you can zoom back in. It's got main features in that area and those main features are explained. They also have for, uh, for just a little bit of pay, in this case 99 cents, they've got a series of games that you can play that are around geography, for example, and you can see you've got countries of the world, countries of Africa, etc. So landmarks of the world, uh, quiz let's take an easy quiz and say okay in the Russian Federation which one of these uh, are there and I'm choosing that one so it's another way to do geography puzzles and geography games where kids are learning what's where it's especially good of course after you've learned a, a continent or a series of countries so this is kids can practice this even without um, learning anything about this but this really becomes good when they do learn about different areas of the world and then they practice them so today on mobile learning in the classroom we talked about geography games and I'll see you next time on mobile learning in the classroom.